Sucky, you were yes, way you? too excited what over did you guys that do? hair, Sal. Listen, you mentioned anything uh, about Milo yeah, Motherfucking oh, Greenwood, and I said... There we are. Dude, you are the old... Like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone else simp for a hours. character harder than you simp for Milo Greenwood. That I, man is, that man I'll keep it on. Oh, I'll remind him, too, because yeah, i got to be out at 10.30 yeah. my time, too. So, Perfect. Ian and I got yeah. done in three hours. Oh, All right. It's okay. Right. We'll be we'll be we'll be done in less time than that. We'll be taking a little break in the middle. Um, I need to Dude, make fuck. the bed Dude, since fuck. I washed the sheets today, and the sheets are now just going to be finishing up soon. It's a full day job, um, and Kayla needs to get to bed early. <clears throat> what was that, Hello. Selk? I'm hella autistic right now. I have one half of my nail. Of my that acrylic was... still intact, oh, and no. it's too close to my skin. I can't like peel it without like removing my entire nail bed right now. Oh, uh, yeah, no, please don't. But it's only half of it, and it's I, I can feel it, and it's like you know how there are some things no, in this yep. world you shouldn't yeah. be able to feel with your teeth, and I can feel my nail with my teeth, and I'm just yep. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Please stop. Please yep. stop. Nope. Yep. <laughs> I d uh, and now everyone else is showing their autism. Yeah. <laughs> Except for Ian, who's just casually eating a bag of plastic like he's a raccoon or something. Trying to open. like <laughs> Or Kiki. Because, <laughs> let me tell you, freaking Kiki will gnaw on They're little 40 gum. They're called 40 gummies. Oh. They're little, like, gummies. Oh. And the these ones are in the shape of roses. Oh, that's okay. He has his face says it all. <laughs> <laughs> they're not 4D, they're 3D. Why would you call them that? <laughs> because of that. It's the brand, brand is 4D. I don't okay. like it. <laughs> Ness, so, was, Ness was like, eh, eh, short circuiting, okay. short circuiting. It's so, 4D. I don't like it's it. 4D. They call it 4D because it like when you go to a 4D cinema, it's you have different like the different senses. It's not just do, 3D, yeah. so it's yeah. 3D. You can smell it and you can taste it. So it's Guess that's why what? they're called. Smelling and tasting are included in the third dimension, my guys. <laughs> okay, <laughs> y'all ready for a little bit of a shock? Tell, tell that, tell that to the. Uh, I will. Do you have their market. customer service number? <laughs> I'm sure you can find that's IMAX's be the customer service right number. Now. By the way, your 4D cinema is factually incorrect. It is. It... Where's the fourth dimension? Ah. Y'all lay off Ian right now, man. <laughs> He's getting attacked. It's not even his. I'm not attacking Ian. I'm attacking people who name things 4D. Ian has nothing to do with it because so attack... he's a good so super. Attack... So you're attacking <laughs> Japan. <laughs> I also have this right here, which is which is like the aftertaste is okay and like the end flavor, but the start is not great. That's interesting. Oh, I, I don't know why. I, this, is, this, wow. is, this is durian candy. It took me a minute to realize that was you, Matt. Yeah. No. I, that's why I sent it. That's not Matt. Baby Matt. You look like <laughs> you knock on my door and witness to me. There's I, no, I, I did that for no two years. <laughs> where's, where's the rest of you? <laughs> where's uh, the rest of you? It, Fucking... waste, it wasted away walking for about uh let's see when do we see baby when... colton baby colton was super skinny too when, when i was like we... for my late teens oh my gosh i was a tiny no, boy you were with you were without a with you without a beard and you just i you don't like it you look like, like you're trying to sell estate. me yeah i was gonna say you look like you're trying to sell me a house <laughs> hey no, I watch was it. To that's sell my you career Jesus. you're talking about <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but you've definitely seen this man on a billboard being like, we'll buy your house for cheap. Wow. Dead bodies inside? No problem. I got, I got. I'm a priest, so I can exercise. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, so when we last left off a month ago, 
Um, yeah. You guys were um, in the middle of the Barulgura bash. So this episode is called Resident Furball. Ah. Thank you, Ian, for the idea. Um, do it, now. it is the first part of a two-part episode. Are we really going to be fighting brown paper towels? That sounds boring. Wait, now. we already had the first part. This is the second part. Yeah. Where we <laughs> realize we there's a whole parts. shit ton around the actual combat. We had two. We feel like we had two <gasps> sessions of combat. Baby Cole, and... yeah. we just had the one. Holy <laughs> crap! I was a tiny little baby. I weighed. I was like 160 pounds. <laughs> 160 Looking, pounds, dude. I was 130 in college. Yeah, but I weigh 250 now. Put that in perspective. I weigh 220 now. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> His is muscle. Yours isn't. It is too. I work out every day. I just Why have a little. Oh, I have muscle. a little chub too. It's every, just not every, as much muscle. We're working out the PSA, arm. PSA: Everyone who's <laughs> anyone who's actually buff has a little bit of chub because if you have an eight pack, you're not strong. It's true. See, see, I always I tell people. Yeah, I was gonna say why, have why, ha keg. why have it? Why have a six pack when you can have a keg? If, if you have, yeah. maybe cool. Okay, I won't say if you have visible abs because there's some huge dudes with visible abs. But like, if you have, if you're just shredded all around, you have you're to be probably hydrated. not very strong. Yeah, you just have you're probably very dehydrated. dehydrated. You have to pick. Yeah, like I get told, I have to gain fat, but like you have. I can't lift as much as I should be able to, given the number of years that I've lifted. But I can run for fucking long. <laughs> yeah, it's like that's, whatever you want to do. That's what I need yeah, to work. Exactly. I need to work. Like on my any cardio. any bodybuilder with like a six pack abs can definitely out cardio me any day of the week. But I can shoulder press the squat max. So exactly, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, no way I can do that. Yeah, I've been working out to, every day for the last. I've just been doing it all fall and winter pretty much. Terry and I do it every night. And it's and yeah, just, I just I just get my exercise from the warehouse work. Just left. I did hit a, well, I, I did yeah, hit a PR true. on shoulder press though. I can now shoulder press three hundred and fifteen pounds upright. Nice. No, yeah, you you out buff me on the buff scale. I need to do. I also, a, that's I what I do for a living. To go with. Otherwise, Mark I like I don't I don't feel like doing don't, it. I, they I, I tell all of my nerd do. friends: do not compare yourself to me when it comes to strength. I am a pro power lifter. I've been doing this for almost twenty years. It's like that's it's my thing. Yeah, what no, I do. my my I, I was a strength. pro map maker in high so, school, so that's one, my one thirty pounds. We are live. Yes, we've been live. Oh, we also, oh, also free on advice. top of that, this the the title for the episode says "State of the Union Episode Twenty Trailblazers Part 2. Yeah, I know. I've been talking with Jess. She accidentally had the wrong wrong campaign <laughs> title set up, um, which is why I announced this is episode thirty seven or thirty eight. Uh, Resident Furball. Okay, um, well, you need to let us know that we're live. I did. No, I mentioned Point Stellar's comment in chat. <laughs> you did not tell us we were live. You need well, to give apparently us a like one something. Being forceful enough about it. <laughs> like, no, because I'm sitting here looking at baby Cole picture and I'd be like, I would trust this man to hold my drink. <laughs> <laughs> I would trust Cole now to hold my drink. I was about to say, crazy. would you not anymore? That feels like a backhanded compliment. <laughs> no, I still would. <laughs> At one point in time, I would have, but no. more so now than then, but still then. I did have a little bit of a frat boy look to me when I was 19. You do look very <laughs> fratty, but you you're were, like one of those frat fratty. boys who's like, I'm going to take frat boy home, Pokemon like, on his DS and actually corner. just like drop her off at the house. I'm the frat also, boy playing Pokemon Also, White might I add, if you were all in the <laughs> chat like you're supposed to be, you would have seen when it went live. Because no, no, no. Give us a warning. You can't go back at us. Yeah. Markham, you know me. I, I boot it up when you tell us that we're going live. I me I too. I said we're going live. <laughs> you oh, did I'm, not. I think I was muted when I said that. Oh, good so job. That's your good bad. job. Sir. Okay. Well, then, can we let's get to it? Then let's get to the Bulgura let's, bash. We we just thought you were monkeys. like legitimately just thought you were going. Hey, this is the title for this week's episode. We're like, okay, cool. Okay, cool. That this is this is the thing. This is cool. why they're still Sick. lost on the content. The communication is terrible. No I'm kidding. No, that's the other party. No, no. <laughs> All keeps, of them. Here keeps looking for different girlfriends and finding them, and then getting distracted. <laughs> you know, that is, there are worse things to get distracted by, though. 
Like that's I, I'm on, I'm on the continent now because uh I I feel like I should be to help my friends. That's the only reason I'm okay, still here. Okay, that's true. It's yeah, that's completely true. Completely optional just leave. for you. <laughs> You I got could dragged leave at like any time. I got dragged. If Ian, if Ian never has to leave the campaign for some reason, it's just going to be willing to go, okay, bye. Legitimately, <laughs> that's what's going to happen if we don't wrap this up by the end date that I've given Marco. Oh, don't worry. I have a hard end set up. And for Pete's sake, you guys already have a freaking portal back to your own continent. So, to be fair, <laughs> yeah, we do. It's just a matter of how much faffoing will happen on it between now and then. <laughs> It's okay, we have a necromancer to kill. Like, like technically, if you wanted to, you could wrap this up in about two weeks. Because you just have to go there. <laughs> to be fair, Mark is dead. <laughs> but he got dragged. <laughs> to be fair, we're trying. <laughs> that is true. Right. But yeah. But you just, that's... you win. Balguras, let's spend the next four episodes fighting Balguras. It has been one. After, after, came in after at the they end of gain the, up the on the here. fucking cleric who has like a hundred health and just keep getting like that 20s. He is... The cleric kind of deserved it though. Yeah, he did. Yeah, But still, I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> he got punched by Kieran. Now he's getting punched by monkeys. Yep. Although he killed like three of them. He killed like three of them, so... He... He's getting back at him. He's getting back at him. All right. Let's see here. Oh, perfect. All right. Excuse me. I wasn't raised in a barn, but it was adjacent. Right. Um... Uh... All right, so, uh, yes, when we last left off, um, that's brilliant. Monkey. Uh, yes, you guys kind of woke up to find out, uh, Go back, I want to be monkey! Right. (laughs) Sorry, I like that. When you left, 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 last left off, Monkey. That's Monkey. it. That's a good summary. Yeah. Warn you were here. Reject moderate. <laughs> reject moderate. Reject modernity. Return to monkey. Monkey. Exactly. That's just, what, you, that's just what Saiyans do. Yep. All right. That's so, true. Um, Ian, I believe we will start with you because last we left off, you were looking down. I think I just destri- described it as there was some sort of large form below, right? Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did see like that weird thing underground. Yeah, I'm trying to find what my description of it was. You didn't really give me one, and I went like I saw it. I saw it moving, you and I rolled high enough that was that... large moving, and you just <clears throat> dipped. Yeah, it, you that said would be it. Why looked, I don't it... have any details in my notes. It, the so way it you described it, mm-hmm. yeah, it made me think of a uh, bullet. Bullet. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Because I thought it was just a little weasel. <laughs> oh. You're like, why are you freaking out over this? Yeah, just kiss it. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Just kiss it as it charges you. <laughs> no, no, no. Bullet, ça ferait pas ça. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I need to watch that movie. Right. right let's see. Okay. Yeah. So we will pick up with. Um, Were we in the middle of combat? Uh, yeah, more or less. We they kind of killed the ones that. So okay, yeah, Cole, you weren't here last week. That's right. Yeah. So they killed <laughs> the uh, Barrel Girls that were in sight, and then. Uh, uh, found out back. there was another dozen. Yeah, Riz r- r- brought one back as a zombie. Um, and then no one bamf back. Oh, one I bamf back. Concent- right, right. I could hold concentration right. on two of them. That's true. So one came back, two are banished. Um, and then another twelve decloaked, and we're like, "Hi guys, we're here." Um, and that is where we left off. 
There we go. So, could I get... <laughs> Hello, evil cereal. Um, could I get an initiative roll from Cole, since he was NPC? <laughs> 24. 24. Ooh, my. Not bad. Starting with a 19. Not 24. Bad. All right. So we got... The heck are my notes? This is why I don't leave. Oh, there we go. Nope. All right. Oh, baby Selkie, too. Oh, my gosh. Everyone's doing the baby photos. Just a small seal. Mm hmm. Seal. Alcohol. Oh, that's some good mead. I tried my new flavor from my favorite brand. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yes, he, about... there was uh, what appeared to be a boulette down below. Um, the barrel girls are attacking. I do believe. Yep, that pops. Yeah, Kieran comes. Okay, so perfect. All right. All right. So as the, uh, as the the demon slayer that is currently downed and wounded, um, Kieran, you are going first. Uh, there are um, and I do remember, like before last session, I told you I did before combat. I was going to use my giant rune to become giant. Yes. Yes. So, so I am. You are already big, giant. Big boy. Giant. I am the I biggest am of boys. I am twelve foot eight. The biggest of boys. And, uh, okay, so how many are there around me? 13 total. 13 total? One okay. is very close. The others are kind of on the ridge. I'm going to go to the closest one first. All right. That's and... the one that's just bamped back from the banishment. Axe. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to go ask him a question? Haha. Uh -huh. Yes. I, I expect it'll be a side splitting answer. Oh, that's probably uh -huh. going to hit. That's a 29 to hit. <laughs> that hits. I rolled a 15 on the die. Okay, so that is one handed, though, because I do have my shield. Okay, now let me look up for being massive. How much do I get added to that? Uh, you should do uh, max I can add an I, okay, so on my uh, I get advantage, yeah, but <laughs> uh, on my turn, I can pick one of my three attacks to do an extra d8 damage because I get three attacks per action being a fighter now. Um, so that's 13 plus ooh, eight, so that is 21 uh, slashing for the first attack. All right. And if he's not down, I'm going to heat him he's again. Still he's still up, all right. The advantage. Don't need it, Matt 20. Oh. And if I recall correctly, Mark, the way you do crits is double max damage for crits. Right. So 2d8 plus 9 maxed. So that is... 16 plus 9, 25, uh, 50 slashing for the second attack. All right. 50? 50, 5 0, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, how do you kill this one? Uh, axe split head in half. I think that works. Okay, and how far away am I from any of the other ones? Uh, about maybe 30 feet. They're all relatively close-ish. Mm, okay. And how far are my allies from me? Uh, 15-ish feet. I'm going to look back at everyone and be like, 
Well, I guess I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm just going to charge at the group of them. I haven't used any movement yet, so I'm going to use my full 30 feet to get up to the next one. Brilliant. And I am going to uh, swingy swing at him, at uh, plus one of them. Swing fun. All right, go for it. With advantage, another natural 20. Oh, I'm not lying, shit. I swear. I swear to you. Dude. What the fuck? 20. I swear. Oh, no, this just seems it's all down. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> that one will not be uh, 50, though, because I can only use the extra D8 on one of my three attacks, and I chose to use it on the last one. So Ooh. this one will be 8 plus 9, 17 times 2, 34 slashing for this one. All right. Uh, definitely heard it. It is still up, though. Uh, let me see if I can do anything else. Pretty much everything I have is reactions with my runes, I think. But let me just double check. Actually, I will use my fire rune. When you hit a creature with an attack using weapon, you can invoke a rune to summon fiery shackles. The target takes an extra 2d6 fire damage, and it must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained for one minute. So if I add that to the attack, would you say that the crit counts for that, or would I just do the regular d 2d6? Since it's not technically part of the attack. What was the math on that again? It's an extra 2d6 fire damage, and then it has to make a strength saving throw or be restrained. I'll just do the regular d6. If that seems d6. fair. Okay, I'll do so the strength saving throw, yeah. He, so he takes 7 fire damage, and then strength saving throw dc17. All right. So let's see if he saves, and then I'll read the rest of the fire room. Nope, that's a 13. Uh, okay, so while we're strained by the shackles, the target takes 2d6 fire damage at the start of each of its turns. The target can repeat the saving throw until the end of each of its turns, banishing the shackles on success. Uh, I can only use this room once, but basically this guy can't move or attack until he passes the throw, and he takes 2d6 fire damage every turn. Okay. Oh, nice. Room nights are fun! Yeah. I went from being the party tank to the party hit thing a lot. Oh. Hey, Ka Callie, are you happy with being, are you fine with being the tank now? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how tanky she can be. She's not going to take a lot of hits. She's just going to be know. a target. Uh, and that, uh, no one's going to be able for, to hit. Mm, yeah. That's 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 it for this turn. All right, I'm done now. High level fighters take forever. All right, uh, that will be. Whoa! Ah, come back here. There we go. <laughs> oh, baby, Matt. Uh, ba -bum. Didn't you just... Oh, maybe it is pinned. Oh, it is. Okay, Sir Wellington, you're up. Okay, so I'm still underground, yeah? He's still underground. Right, we had to calculate a hypotenuse yeah. because yeah. he's underground. Um, and one of them is digging after him. Well, no, you guys obliterated me? the one that was digging I after thought, him. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> You know, that one got, I don't know what it got. It got, like, blasted. Something like that. I don't know who got it. Something like that. Um. Yeah, I will... dig kind of like at a very sharp angle up um he so is no man he's digging a hole <laughs> um we're gonna double move so just gonna use my action to move as well so i should be able to get to the top with that i'm that uh, right. pop out 
of the ground. Are you muted, Markham? Am I? Oh no. Okay. It looked no. like you were saying something. I, I was. Here. I just it just didn't pick <clears throat> me up. Gotcha. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna pop up to the top and be like, guys, guys, there's a there's something really big down there. That's gonna be my turn. Okay. All right. Um. The speeds at which I dig six seconds. Newman out of the out of the ground. We. All right, Callie, you are up. I have a I have a one of my rages checked off, but I. It's still active because you haven't. It's, I'm still combat I'm yet. still in a rage. Yeah. Great. You've been in nonstop combat. You're still in rage. Yeah. Great. Yeah, you've hit and gotten hit. I think so. Hell yeah. Um. How far away is the motherfucker? Thirty feet. Thirty feet? <laughs> Too close. <laughs> um. <laughs> These are all my old dice. I'm going to use them anyways. So I'm going to take a nice little swing schwang with... Swing schwang. There's my thong. Mm. No, I got a flex. I'll use my axe. Do my axe, and that is a unnatural 20 to hit. All right. So I do max damage. That's what that is. Because it's 20 or over. That's yep. the rule. Sick. So that is yes. 14. Yeah, 20 or over max damage. Yep. 14, 16 points of damage. Damage. All right. I'm going to swing swung again. That is 22. So it's another 16 points of damage. All right. I'm going to spend a key point. Do theory of blues. Burble, burble. Burp, 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 burp. All right. That's a nat 20. So that is these 10, 12, and I need a dex. Yeah, a dexterity a saving dexterity throw. Dexterity save. All right. That is a 13. Fails, it's the yeeted 15 feet away from me. All right. Uh, Who's bashing? Y'all gonna... are the Balguras. Yeah, fuck these Balguras. That is another un unnatural 20. All right. So that is just 12 points of Damba Bridge. All right. I don't whack nearly as hard as the fighter, but it's okay. I tossed him. Oh, and he's prone. So, I uh, needed love... him, and he's been knocked prone. Friggin' love open hand monks so much. I love monks so much. Of all of the, I have <laughs> buttons for. I have D and D buttons for for every single class that I have kind of dished out to my friends who played like main those characters or main those classes. I have kept kept my monk flurry of blows. Nice. Good. Well, yeah, it it's kind of important. Very important. <clears throat> All right. I think I think that is everything. Oh, wait. I get another I get another attack. Oh shit. Just kidding. <laughs> because of my nat 20. When you score a critical hit with a melee weapon, you can make one melee weapon attack as a bonus action. Nice. Oh, damn. 
Uh-huh. I forgot 26. you can do that. Uh -huh. 26, so that is a another 12, 14, 16 points of damage. Noise. Selkie's gonna learn how to read today. Yeah. All right. Yep. That's for Kelly. Whacking and swinging. Swing, swing, whack deck. All right. Nice, nice, nice. That brings us to uh, Rupert Grint. Rupert, all right. You can join the call now. No, I'm kidding. Who? Ron Weasley. <laughs> oh, okay. One of the Demon Slayers runs in. A couple of the NPCs get to go. They do that off screen. I've already taken care of their roles. And uh, early on goes. Alvarion goes. All right, Marcus, you are up. Early on is up wailing on a, um, a Barl Gura with one of the Demon Slayers. Alvarion has cast a couple spells and completely vaporized one of them, essentially. Um, Kieran's hacking his way through, and Callie's doing a bash slash combo. Okay. Uh, I mean, Y'all ain't never I... seen a tail genasi use a, two, a two-handed great axe like a bow staff, have you? It's fucking badass. <laughs> okay, I know I have uh, spirit guardians up, but I imagine all the enemies that he already close got wiped down. Yeah, uh, there's none up close anymore. I figured as much. Eh. How do I still have a level five? Holy shit. Okay. Because uh, y'all were effective. There... Yeah, I'm like, how do I still have a little five slot? Uh, I guess, is there one that hasn't gotten hurt yet? Oh, yeah. There's like eight that haven't gotten hurt yet. Eight? Yeah. And... Okay, hold on. Where's Flame Strike? Hold on. I need to look up something really quick because I don't know the spells. No, I don't know the details of my spells. I just know the names. Um, da -da -da. Hold on. Okay. Oh, flame strike is half radiant, half. Okay, yeah, no. I I imagine they're resistant to fire, so that will not go well. And you said there's not any space where he can like. His dawn is 60. Yeah, that's a radius of. That's a diameter of 60 feet. And I imagine I would hit someone with that, right? Even if I oh, just yeah. target this. Oh, yeah. E even if I just target the specific group of non hurt apes. Well, it's a 60 foot radius blast zone? No, it's a. So it's a 30 foot radius. It's not a blast zone, it's more of like. All of a sudden, holy fuck, holy circle right there, and then, then, then holy fucking. Oh well, yeah. If you if you don't center it on the actually, even if you center it on them, you shouldn't hit anyone because they're thirty feet away from you guys. Oh, so the only one you can come close that. to is Callie or or Kieran, and as long as you set it off to the side a little bit, yeah, it'll be fine. You can hit like three or four of them with that. Oh, you know, let's fucking do that. All right. All right. Yeah. So I drop. So seeing the fact that there's still plenty to fight, uh, Marcus is going to drop uh, Spirit Guardian because unfortunately that's concentration, and he is going. Oh, you can move it. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm definitely using this fucking spell. He is going to uh, just have. I don't know how to describe it, but basically like, just this holy light just comes down on the four of them that he can target. Mm -hmm. And they have to make a constitution saving throw. Alright. Alright. Okay. 16, 16, 6, and 12. They all fail. Ooh. Oh, wow. You got a pretty good modifier. Yep. Yeah, Plus, I have a 17 uh, nice. for spell DC. So, 
total of 18 radiant damage. And yeah, he they have to make the saving throw each time they end their turn in the cylinder. Holy cow. Okay, then. And it's also sunlight, so it's bright as fuck right now. It's bright as fuck. I need able to make a con save for the flash of light, and no, I'm kidding. It's just one. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and then that brings us down to Abigail as the other NPCs are engaging in combat with these things. Are my guys hitting the my uh, not seven current, undead not guys? Cur- yes. Why yes. not? They're, they're beating up. They're beating up on the one. Yes, on they're the beating one. up on because the one. Because you have an undead rat, and that's not a threat. I have two undead <laughs> Bulgaros, okay? Those guys little, are gonna... It's going to take him a little bit to kill this one, but yeah, it's this slow beat down of, we're going to kill you eventually. There's two Bulgaros! They're, they're beefy? They're dead. They're not at full no, strength. No, no. Oh, yeah, they are. And I get, <laughs> I get buffs on them because I'm super cool and necromancer. Uh, they get buffer because <laughs> I, you, you I made buffer? them. Well, is is that what? Buffer. Really? Yeah, they like do. The they get Alpha extra HP. Movie? <laughs> they get extra HP and bonus damage because I'm cool and I made them. Okay. You know they what? Get... The logic is flawless. I can't argue with that. <laughs> actually, I feel That's like I might actually be reading something. I I'm serious. <laughs> they do. <laughs> it's not because I'm cool and I made them, but it is. <laughs> they get. Um, eight increased HP and plus four weapon damage rolls. Nice. I don't know what the, if that's damage or attack. I guess damage. It says damage. Yeah. All so right. they are a bit beefier than normal. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, yeah. It's still going to take a little bit to kill the other guy, though, because that's, you know, they're... No, no. They can do it. <laughs> I believe in this. Okay. All right. All right. So they're how continuing is my, to, to How beat... is my bird not annihilating them? My zombie bird? Your zombie bird? <laughs> it's on a zombie bird. A zerd. I estimate about two weeks before it drills through its skull and can kill it. Just, well, just no, give it time. Actually, give it time. Actually, the bird was the only one that was not engaged in combat. It, I because I asked it to do that to the ropes. Right. Yeah. I don't. Am I still restrained? No. Why oh, I'm restrained? not restrained. I don't know. <laughs> I was restrained though. It's been too many weeks since we met. I had ropes or something or vines, uh... and I asked the bird to pick. Oh, at right, 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 right. It was one of the ball girl spells. Yeah, yeah. I forget they can spell cast. Yeah, I'm looking at the stat block. And I'm like, man, they're pretty tanky. Okay. So I'm not restrained. My guys are doing their thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Let's. Oh yeah. Oh damn it! What was it? Lightning seemed a little less effective. Acid yeah. seemed normal. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's do. I guess let's do a chromatic orb. On chromatic orb, all right. On one of the other ones. All right. <laughs> I don't know, but not the one that my guys are on. And yeah, let's do one of the ones in the zone. If all I right. can do that. Go for it. Okay. Wait, I caught my brother got me dice. Oh, sweet! But then I have nice. to do math. <laughs> <laughs> that is but then math. I have to do the math. Oh, but that's eighteen though. Eighteen plus eight. That's I don't 26. know what that, that is. Hits. Thank that's you. That's twenty six. Okay, I'm gonna roll the damage on here because I I I can't do it. That's fair. Okay, so let's do um thirty one acid damage. To one of the ones in the in the thirty acid damage. Okay, nice. Thirty one. 
you have its attention. It does not look happy. It does not look pretty. Okay. <laughs> it's a big demon ape, so... It wasn't pretty to begin with. <laughs> Boom, roasted. Boom. <laughs> okay, let's, I guess, uh, bonus attack it. Uh, wait. How far is it from me? Why the fuck do I have healer healing? <laughs> I never healed anyone ever. Um, how Not far is it from character. me? No. <laughs> how far is it from you? About 30 feet. Cool. Uh... Then I will move my tentacles of the deep. Oh, I can right, move it up to 30 that. feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and... Attack it. All right. That's 18 again. Plus 7. Are they... Hold on. That hits. Okay. No, they're fine. I thought it was always going to roll 18. Um, and that's... I'll roll here. A whole 7 cold damage. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he's not going to make it. He got a little chilly. Uh, give me a perception check. He's fine with cold damage. He's just chilling. Uh, 8 plus 6. I shouldn't use these because I got to do math. 14. All right. 14. Mm-hmm. It, it didn't seem to really bother the Balgara. At all or like as much as it should have? As, as much as it should have. Like it should That's have dealt fine. a little bit of damage, but instead it felt like it dealt... It's my only bonus attack, so it's fine. You're going to get it anyways. Uh. <laughs> All right. That's it. All right. Oh, its speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. Oh, nice. Nice. That's good. It's That's really slow. good. All right. Um, they're going to start attacking you guys. Um, okay. Uh, Naz, I'm guessing a, uh, what was that? A nine does not hit? No, I thought you were going to be like a 37 does hit. No. <laughs> no, it does not. All right. 14, I don't think that hits either. No. And a 22? Yeah, that hits. Okay. Um, it, it, it punches you, it, it comes out and it tries to bite, and Abigail, like, dodges back, and it swings, and then Abigail dodges, and Abigail dodges just into its other fist. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> um, that's going to be 14 points of damage. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Of punching damage. Punching damage. Hey, all right, I'm guessing a 13 does not hit Cole. Uh, no, is this the one right next to me? Because he's also restrained. Yes, restraint shouldn't he, keep it from attacking. And he still attacks. He right. gets a disadvantage and... Oh, well, in that case, not one. <laughs> yeah, and he takes also takes 2d6 fire damage. Do you want me to roll that or do you want to roll it? Go for it. Oh, He takes I'll 2d6 fire damage for trying. Right. Uh, that, well, he takes 2d6 fire damage on every one of his turns until he's free from the restraint. Uh, eight fire. All right. Also remember, any Give me a of perception those check. Huh? Perception perception check for Kieran. And what was that, Matt? Uh, if any of those Bulgur are in the dawn, they have to make a Constitution saves. Though. Right. Uh, sixteen perception. The ones in the dawn all fail, Matt. Okay. Uh, the Bulgur seems to not be taking nearly as much damage from the fire as it should be. Oh damn. That yeah, is, they're all red. Look at them. That's, that's 27 a surefire damage. Sign. 27 radiant so damage. Restrained. <laughs> all right, going to give a strength check to try and break out. That is a dirty... Oh, nope, that's an 18. 
That still brings up the DC 17. Ooh, just barely. All right. It is out. Um. Yeah. Oh, you heard the damage, right, Markham, that they took? Yes. I, I oh, noted wait. it down. And Balguras are fiends, right? They are. Yeah. I forgot my axe does double damage to fiends anyway. Oh, nice. Oh. So he should have taken 72 damage last, or 68 damage last turn. <laughs> Oh, from that crit. So he's not he's not looking good at all. Yeah, um, I forgot that you gave me a special axe that dealt double damage to fiends. He, he's he's looking really rough. Uh, I did yes, I did. For that one guy. Yeah, you did. You obliterated him. Split him right down the middle. Um, Matt, since this is radiant damage, you're dealing radiant damage to them. Yeah. Okay. That's like the one damage type I have. Well, it deals double, so those two should actually be 54. Yeah. Yeah. All right. They're all looking really rough. Like, they're... Yeah, they're all looking really rough. Um, They do run out of it, however, and uh, one, I need you to make a... um. I need uh, you to make an intelligent saving throw, Matt. Okay. Ooh! Yay! That is a nat 20. <laughs> hey! hey! You feel like he was trying to cast a spell on you, but you just kind of shrug it off. No problem. Ha! <laughs> Suck it, you big ape. I'm facing apes, and I haven't done a Planet of the Apes line. I am so ashamed of myself. Anyway. How could you? I don't know. I failed. All right. Uh, that brings us up to the top again. Kieran, your turn. Yeah, I'm going to hit the guy who got out of my shackles with my axe. <laughs> yeah, that was a short-lived victory, wasn't it, Mr. Balgara? <laughs> so that is a uh, 31 to hit. Okay. And... 20 slashing for the first because I rolled low. It's All rolling right. low now with the double damage. Is he, he still up? Yeah, he is. He's he's hanging in there. Second attack with advantage is going to be a 28 to hit. That definitely hits. Okay, that's an 8 on the die, so 8 is not 17 times 2. 34 slashing for the second. All right, that does it. <laughs> Cleave his head in half. Nice. Then I'll just turn to the nearest one. Uh, there is one currently uh, ripping the limbs off of one of your fellow survivors. Who's not oh, I'm going to go after that one. All right. Give him a nice bonk. Ooh. Okay, good. With advantage, that is a uh, 21 to hit. That hits. And then this one, I'll do my uh, Giant's Might uh, extra D8 damage. Nice. Ooh, two eights. So that is 17 times two, 34, plus another eight, uh, 42 damage. 42 damage. Mm hmm. All right. And let me see if there's anything you have, else. You I have can... redirected its attention. Yeah, let me see something real quick. No, we're not going to do that right now. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to waste that right now. Oh, that's something I can do. I can basically silvery barbs. Ooh. Just double checking everything I've got. Sorry, it's been a while. No worries. Rune it has been a long holiday and break. And Rune Knight is complicated. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it has been a long Christmas break. Okay, yeah. So pretty much everything I have is bonus actions and reactions, but I don't really want to use any of the bonus actions right now. Uh, that's my turn. All right. Um, that brings us to Sir Wellington. <laughs> um, I've popped up. I've been it's like... Chaos. There's some... 
that's something big down there. And I'm looking now. I'm looking around. I'm like, uh there's something big up here too. <laughs> what the heck? There's something kind of big up here too. Lying nearby is one of your um, fellow survivors that went with Kieran to the um uh to the the sanctuary and then came back to help you guys. Uh, she is unconscious. One of her arms have been ripped off, and the Balgra is beating her with it. Oh, jeez! Um, it is absolute so it, it, chaos, and not necessarily. Are there any? Way. Are there any other uh, Balgra near them? That that one. Uh, one or two. Okay. How, well, okay. How many though? Uh, we'll say there's there's two that are engaged in combat with. Um, other survivors nearby, within about fifteen feet. Okay. Total of like a, a thirty foot radius because there's like fifteen feet to the right and then fifteen feet to the left. Yeah. Okay. There's two next to them. Yep. Okay. Um. Well then. I'm gonna use a. Six, my, one other time I can do this. Six level spell. And I'm going to cast Banishment. Nice. So I need Charisma saving throws from the three of them. Well, they're very charismatic, as you know. Yep. Ooh, does a 16 pass? Double check. Oh, sorry, 17. Does a 17 pass? No. Oh, well, never mind. They all fail. <laughs> My spell save DC is an 18. God damn. He rolled an 18 on the die, but his modifier is minus one. Yeah. <laughs> it's someone of, yes, I did it. Uh, actually, you're not that good. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> By nature of who you are. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah. You just suck. If it were anyone else but you, maybe. <laughs> if it were anyone all else right. but so you. Alright, so they all just... Oof. Yeah, anyone else 18 on the die would be like, that's a success? He, he's just like, he goes... <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. And just you just see them all just... <laughs> just yeah, essentially... The, the, the survivors what? are like... Where'd they go? Because they know they can go invisible, 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 invisible. <laughs> so they're like, oh shit, it's like the spider that you now can't see. <laughs> it's it, gone it's like somewhere. They, <laughs> it, it looks like they all just touched a port key and just... <laughs> it's slurped. Your allies are panicking, not sure what's happened. Look well, no, it's not like they just turn invisible. They, it looked like they got... Oh, it looked like they went through a portal. Like a little, like, got like again, like you know, port keys. How port okay, keys yeah, work in Harry yeah. Potter? Like, yeah, so that's what yeah. in my mind. That's in my mind how I would imagine banishment yeah. working. Just as they just go. Yep, that makes sense. They're like, I like that better like, than them just going invisible. Yeah. Although these are like you know lower level N NPCs that are like. NPCs believe what they want to believe. Yeah, these these are martial class NPCs. They don't know much about magic. All they know is that whenever they disappear, it doesn't necessarily mean they're gone. <laughs> All they know is can't see them no more. <laughs> Couple of fighters seeing magic go on. All right, nicely done. I need a deck save from uh, Sir Wellington. Almost said Sir Ian. <laughs> Sir Ian? Sir Ian. Sir Ian. I, Gandalf? I'm not, I, I'm not Gandalf. Not yet. <laughs> okay. Top, top, top. Well, I guess I should actually move that so I can see that. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see. Deck save, deck save. Oh, that's, that's not one I'm proficient in. Uh, 13. 13? 13. Let me check the thing real quick. That doesn't sound good. Uh, 
Okay. So as you guys are, uh, you know, fighting, etc., um, all of a sudden the ground erupts behind, uh, behind you. Uh, Sir Wellington pops out. He's like, hey, there's something underground. And then, you know, bandages a couple guys. And then pff, this thing just shoots up and Sir Wellington just isn't there anymore. Um, there's just a massive mouth that keeps coming. Um, as a, a as a, a massive boulette erupts out of the ground, also known as a land shark. A massive fairy! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Marcus, Mar- Marcus will see the go, uh, y'all, I think we got a new problem! Do I see it kind of, does it look like an eight Wellington, or do I see, like... Oh, yeah, it doesn't look like you an saw Wellington, Wellington and you saw Wellington, <laughs> you saw Wellington here, Wellington, and then you saw Matt go. Yeah. You ever you ever seen the Meg? It's like that. It's just oh, no. there's just not him or the ground around him anymore. Well, I hope this <laughs> thing really likes axes to the head. Uh, Sir Wellington. Actually, uh, was that was Wellington within sixty feet of me? Yeah. I'm going to invoke my. Uh, Runic shield, meaning I can have him. I can allow him to re-roll that failed save. You get to re-roll. That's fair. So we'll we'll play it out as as he's he's flying up 16. in the air just above sixteen. Yeah, that meets it. It's a meets it. So you 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 see him. He's there. It shoots out, and for a second you don't see Sir Wellington. Then you look up, and he's flying up yeah. above it. He's like holding the lip. He's holding the mouth of yeah, the thing. He's like, like ah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> and with a little help from Kieran, he manages. That's my to boy. Get out of no, my boy. <laughs> Father, help. <laughs> Hello. This is literally that situation. Father, help. Okay. This is Father, yeah. help. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, I'll introduce it to our Lord and Savior, my axe in your face. All right. The only religion Kieran needs. Axe to your face. What? Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Um, You're welcome. It you will... didn't get eaten. <laughs> right? <laughs> you barely escaped. It is going to... I'm going to roll perception to see whether it perceives you or the Barogura as the bigger threat. Cool, Nat one. The Barogura are the biggest threat on the field. <laughs> it looks past the giant Kieran and sees angry monkeys and go. Oh, right, I'm bigger than the monkeys right now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> it it nat one on its perception though, so it only is looking for things it's familiar with, and it's used to hunting stuff yeah. on the surface like Barogura's. You guys are kind of a weird thing, so it's like who cares? Uh... <laughs> They're all everyone else is small. It's and it, let's be honest. Sir Wellington wasn't the one that woke it up with his digging. It was it a was massive one that's, that's yeah. donkey conging the ground. Yep. <laughs> that's true. Yep. So and the uh, tall, and the thirteen foot tall fighter. Right. Uh, it it proceeds to ignore you guys. But that thirteen and it foot is now tall attacking. fighter just showed up, and the other ones were making the noise before. True. 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 Mm-hmm. Did you see? So it is going to proceed to attack the. Uh, the Balguras, and it actually swallows one hole as the Balgura nat ones on its uh, save to get out of the way. Oh well, damn! Mm, delicious. Yeah, yeah, you're having a uh, you're having an on land version of the Meg playing out right now. Uh, good grief, it's rolling well. Two 18s and a nat twenty. The Balgura are, are not looking so well. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm really, really. I'm really glad that that con save, that the dexterity save was a dexterity save and not a con save. I thought I was about to be like, am I going to hold them in banishment or not? And I was like, oh no. <laughs> you didn't take damage, don't worry. <laughs> I know. Um, however, if you had been swallowed, you would have started taking damage and would have been needing to make those con saves. But You're welcome. <laughs> Karen got you out of there. Um... Uh, Callie, you're up. The Barogura are currently being hunted by the Boulette. Just Rune Knight things. Best Just fighter subclass. Rune Knight things. Best fighter subclass. <laughs> are there still things that I can hit? Because that's I all mean, Callie is good for. You can things. if you want to. You can also look for an exit. <laughs> uh, but why? You can just leave. <laughs> but why? She's because rich? massive... 
creature just emerged from the ground. Go, and now it's just this a is, bigger thing for me to hit. And this nothing is, the is Wars, hitting me. This is the Star Wars okay. situation of there is always a bigger fish. Mm-hmm. Yes, There's always a bigger is. fish, which is one of the cringiest lines from that movie. I I like that I just How that. dare it's, you. I fucking love that line. <laughs> it's cringe. Just uh, because be you last watched it right when you were 12 and everything was cringe back then to you? Uh, no, actually, I last watched that movie a year ago. So shush. Yeah, so when, <laughs> you, were, so when, yeah, so when you were 12 and everything was cringe to you. Yeah, we all know you're 13. <laughs> yeah, now that I'm 13, everything is, I'm so mature Maz for is age. definitely not the youngest in the party. Maz <laughs> has been the youngest in the party. I'm, I'm really glad you're According not 13 government. because that would have been really bad. <laughs> Any whore. Right. I am still just going to... Sh- I'm so glad I'm not a barbarian me. anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to swing sh- swung my, my axe. Is... Now Callie can do the barbarian things. Callie's going to do barbarian things and be angry I'm and swing so swung that axe. That axe. That, that is axe, a though. unnatural 20. I keep rolling the unnatural 20s. What the that fuck axe. is that bad? That axe. So that's... 12, 10... 16 points of damage. I was like, I right. just said this number like five minutes ago. That 27. So it's another 16 points of damage. We're gonna fury of bows. Find another key point. Do some more furry of bros. I really want to make a dude bro character monk that just has fury of bros. Uh, um, that's fury a... of bros just sounds like that sounds hilarious. Anyone's worst nightmare at a frat party. I actually <laughs> should recommend that to a friend of mine who is playing a surfer dude named Kyle currently. Ah. Your fury of. Fury of Kens. The the Fury AI art messed up on his design and put Bilf as a tattoo on his chest. That's and amazing. We were like, "What does that mean?" And uh, and me and another guy were like, "Bro, I love to, you know." <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's bruh. That's what the B is for. He's not Bros. a dill. He's a bruh. <laughs> uh, that's I'll, a nineteen. I will bring the dills. Nineteen to hit. Nineteen hits. Yeah. So that I got a roll because that's not a over 20 that's sad how could you do that to me seven seven yeah seven uh make a deck save show me your decks that's a seven that's a fail he's pushed back 15 feet and gone prone nice i'm just putting so many bulgaro just on their app right this is a 26. That hits. 12. All right. And I need another deck save. Ooh, that's a 17. That one passes. All right. Oops. And they're still standing? Yeah. They're still up? Oh, yeah. Well, shit. Yes, that's it. <laughs> All right. They have tanky <laughs> HP. It's just that Marcus and Kieran have been using stuff that deals double damage to them naturally. <laughs> and yeah, I've been well, high. <laughs> yeah. Well, that too. I don't have cool shit. Speaking of whom, Marcus, it is your turn. Awesome. Uh, so can I? So I can move Get the dawn axe. sixty feet. You can. Can I move it to where it still targets apes and not actual other people? Yeah, you could. Cool. Yeah, he's going to target as many of the apes as he can. All right. Give me a perception and... check. Okay. Okay, not bad. That's uh 26. 26. Okay. The bullet currently has deemed you either not tasty or not a threat, but it is targeting the Balguro right now, not you guys. Okay, cool. Uh oh wait. Uh random uh 
Bulgaria that didn't get caught in the dawn, uh, make a do to do because that's a bonus action, and I can still do this. Uh, what is it? Make a Dex saving throw, please. Well, Dex Show me your Dex. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, six. Shit. Okay. That, that was one quick. letter in Dex, and then that becomes inappropriate. Show me ah. your Dex. Okay. Same oh, shit. Of All right. They take a eight plus. Six. They take fourteen radiant damage. And at the end of their turns, they have to make the con save again. Oh, that's right. The ones that are in it. Okay, well, we're not to their turns yet. Um, All right. Okay, and does he... With the perception check, does he see a way out for everyone to kind of... With a 26, there there does seem to be a, a low cave um, maybe about 50 feet to your left. Um. Just, just over the, or the right, I mean, um, just over the ridge. Um, so you got the ball girl coming from here. Well, kind of from yeah. all around the boulette that came up kind of right in the middle of everything. And then, no, I was right before I was right before I got turned on. It is to your left. There is a cave kind of inset in the hillside. Um, that looks like it would definitely be too small for the, the boulette to get into unless it felt like burrowing. And, and of course that, does that, so that's the safest place right now. Well, you could also just run straight ahead through the uh, o over the the rest of the hill and down into the the canyon beyond. Um, there's the farmhouse back to your kind of behind you and to your right that you passed. Um, okay, so those are kind of the only real three options. I was about to say because if we go over the canyon, there possibly is still uh, Bulgaria down that way. That is a possibility. Uh. Okay, so he's gonna as just free action, I guess you could say he's gonna see the cave, and see the uh, path they were taking, and again he's gonna look to Kieran because Kieran is ironically the most responsible out of everyone. And I am fifteen. Give me some time. I know. I know. I'm super raging. responsible. I don't know what you mean. All fifteen-year-olds okay. are insanely responsible. I don't know what you're talking about. Every I mean, I was, but that's because I had like issues so anyway. Uh, Every he's gonna single one. Look here and go. We got two options: over the canyon or over the. Wait, is it a canyon or a? Over the ridge. Oh, over the ridge. Thank you. We got two options: over the ridge or in the cave. And honestly, I don't like either option. Over. All right, everyone, try and head over the ridge. And yeah, that's what he will do. Because I use my action, my bonus action, and my free action. So yeah. All right. And then Khan saves from the big hairy apes. Well, one was a nat 20, another was a four, and another was a three. Okay, so the nat 20 obviously succeeds. Uh, let me just get that damage for you, sir. Uh, the fuck? You're blocking it. Hold on. Little camera's blocking it. Not bad. 21. Radiant. Not bad. Alright. Not bad at all. Uh, <laughs> you basically turned these two into holy ash. Haha! <laughs> holy ash, Batman. <laughs> Abigail, it is your turn. What's and I take it Marcus on? takes off on, a, on a, at a sprint. Uh oh yeah, he can move. Yeah, as soon as he does that, he is gonna also try and help those that need the help. Like you know, just kind of purred everyone that way. All right. While making sure they're all right. Yeah. All right, Abigail, what are you doing? Who's who's around me? Currently, no one. Everyone's Ooh. kind of spread out. I mean, everyone's within like 30 to 40 feet of you, but no one's like right on top of you. No. Obviously. Albarian's um, probably the closest. He's about 10 feet away from you. Okay. She's just gonna like, eh. 
Is anyone else like <sighs> What's Callie doing? Her best. <laughs> <laughs> not good, it's not good enough. <laughs> Relating. <I'm failing. laughs> Callie's bashing away at the nearest Bulgara. Bashing away. And then Bulgara. Dolores. Dolores is standing nearby as well and casting some spells. Okay. Marcus said we're all going? Yep. Over the ridge. Yep. Marcus said go over the ridge and then took <laughs> off at a sprint. Uh, nah. And then left <laughs> Did us I all for dead. Hear that? Uh, I he said it's a yelled. safe bet that you all heard. You're all within 30-ish feet of him. Am he I? kind of yelled. You are. You're just... Next to well, where I'm the body can I use a free <laughs> action to look up? Can I use a free action to look up Wellington and hold out my arm and like Wellington jump? <laughs> yeah, we can say that happens. No, and he's wait, Trust he didn't me. run off. He's trying to help people. Like you get can, out of Sir Wellington can give me a perception check because yeah, he's he's hurting people away. Listen, I'm twelve foot eight and I'm yelling loudly for Wellington to jump. That's oh, true. You are giant. You. I actually, I actually rolled really well. What did I do? Let me see. Oh, I got a slutty twenty. Uh, did you say a slutty twenty? Yeah. The sluttiest of twenty. A little slutty oh, yeah. twenty. A little moist twenty. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Now shakes her, and then <laughs> of course everyone else. Oh, now <laughs> just, just everyone just went. Oh. <laughs> oh, is it now? <laughs> Naz's reaction to the word moist. I mean, there's always one. Reactions. There's always it's one. It's not that bad. I don't care. It's like when you're like, anyways. All right. So what is Abigail doing? <laughs> yeah. What, what is she doing? I, I'm debating. I All think. Right. Um. I think. The bulgur is closest to us. How are they looking? There are a couple that are looking really rough, especially the one that came after um, uh, Dolores after it escaped from Marcus's sunbeam thing. Um, it's Oh, it's, is it after Dolores? Yeah, it is. Perfect. Well, Vampiric touched that one. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is not a conflict of interest, I promise. Uh -huh. <laughs> is it? It's not, Is I promise. Not? I, uh, no, I promise. I ship it. I ship it. Uh, no! Not this one. Not this no. one. This is the wrong think one. Of Abigail, you think of Dolores and you know, geese. No. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't worry. That's We've wrong. already decided who Abigail is. It's the wrong with. one. Wait, We've we already did. decided who Abigail is going to be shipped with. Wait, I, I can't remember who. That makes it spicy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> already decided. <laughs> Don't worry okay. about it. That's a surprise tool. It'll help us later. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> 22 so. to hit. That's a surprise. That That'll help us later. Uh -oh. Okay. I'm going to deal it. <laughs> wow. Thank you, damage. <laughs> I rolled three ones on 3d6. Ooh, how <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> you touch deal it. Three damage. The and you like, bruise its shoulder slightly. <laughs> it's necrotic damage, though. Um, so I get one whole hit point back, I guess. Hey! <laughs> <All right. laughs> Excellent roll. And I'll just tentacle it, too. All right. Is that like a strength save? No, it's a hit. I have uh, to hit. Well, that's a shame. It rolled a nat one. <laughs> I've rolled, like, oh. five nat ones tonight. Uh... No, actually, it's just moving. We're cool. What the heck? There we go. Uh, 19 to hit. That hits. That's 8 cold damage, and it's reduced by Time 10 by feet. Half. Yep. All yeah. right. And she's going to be like, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Essentially. Yep, just takes off. All right. Uh, we're going to go on a quick uh, br break here. We'll be back in 10-ish, 15-ish, something like that. However long it takes me to set up the bed, and we got to drop off my brother's Christmas present down the street. Um, so we'll be back in a few minutes.
And uh, then we will continue. So is it safe to say that everyone's going to be running except Callie? I'm waiting for Wellington to drop into my hand. <laughs> oh. And then, and I'm then pretty I will be sure running. He... Abigail's yeah, going to be keeping an eye on Callie. Yeah. But if Marcus is trying to hurt people, he's eventually going to get to Callie and be like, move the fuck out of there. All right. Yeah, I'm moving so... the fuck, but it's not out of there. All right, we'll be hey. right back in a bit, everyone. Hey. Uh, <laughs> hang on to your butts, and hey, we'll yo. see if this party manages to survive. I can't. It's too big. Too much ass, not enough space. Wow. Too much squat booty. I'm muted. Nope, I'm not muted anymore. Okay, so that that break took a little bit longer than usual, but I had some things to take care of. Um. Everything is taken care of. Everyone's okay. 45 minute break. <laughs> no regular break time, guys. All right. So when we left off, you guys uh, were starting to, I to was waiting break for and Wellington run. To yeah. Land in so my hands. we're picking up with Karen because yeah. Karen and Sir Wellington are first in the load order. So you're standing we'll just, there. So just um, say it was bonus a... action. I'm going to like I didn't use my bonus action, so okay. I'll bonus action jump into his hand. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, I'll allow that. Does that work? Uh, it's just like not not like just falling, but like pushing off. All right, I'm gonna need I'm not an acrobatics like... check from Sir Wellington and an athletics check from Kieran. Oh, that's fine. I have advantage, and also I know. Well, that's a natural twenty for a total of thank you, 30, Pink Flamingo, for a total of thirty-five on that athletics. Fifteen acrobatics. Fifteen. All right. Flamingos are fantastic, by the way. We yeah. saw flamingos and at the zoo the other day for New Year's. Thirty-five athletics. I just he lands in my hand and I don't move. <laughs> Perfect. All right. I All put right. him on my shoulder, and then how far am I from Callie? About well, Callie took off full speed. No, Callie's still fighting. Callie, yeah. Callie's like twenty feet from you. <laughs> I'm gonna yell, Callie. Start running now. I don't wanna. I don't care, young lady. You're going to run. Persuasion. <laughs> this is the dad yeah. voice. Yeah. Persuasion yeah. versus. <laughs> we need a hard headedness one, you know? Like, I roll hard headedness. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've that been doing wisdom. that sort of thing, so. With, I don't, with my um, impulse roll. Yeah, we can do an insight. Insight will work for hard headedness. Twenty nine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. If you roll less <laughs> than a what? Sorry. <laughs> What'd you roll? I didn't roll anything. There's no way I like, insight. Roll. They're plus six. That's in order. I rolled a net twenty, so. Yeah, even if I rolled a nat 20, I wouldn't be able to beat that, so... Well, roll. Pally, run! Yes, we're running, and I'm going to be fast as fuck, boys. Roll, roll. I am going to, uh... Because with, with Insight, you need to roll high to do well. If yeah. you roll low on Insight, you're just being a pig-headed nut. <laughs> so I'm just going to run... After I yell at Callie, I'm going to put Wellington on my shoulder, tell him to hold on, and I'm going to... Dash over the ridge. You're officially full... head and shoulders of beyond everyone else. <laughs> oh yeah, my movement seat's doubled. I know. <laughs> Walking speed yep. of sixty feet. Oh, that means one hundred twenty feet dash. Yeah. <laughs> so, how well? I, uh, I'll you hear it. Me, me. my turn. And uh, Kieran's past you. The what? No, mm -hmm. I'll I'll ask on my turn because. Okay, Kelly, you're up. Me, me. We human. You zoom in? Okay. That's Marcus. Fuck, boys. Uh, yeah, he's mostly trying to herd everyone uh, over the ridge as much as he can. Uh, All right. I guess that could be his action. And then he still has a spell up as his bonus action as he's herding everyone because he's, he's yelling. over just like, All right, everyone over the ridge now. Come on. And he's picking up those that need it and everything. And as he does so, he is making sure that the dawn spell is right behind the their group, 
just anything that comes to attack him ah, will have smart. to go through that. All right, Abigail, you have to run through the dawn spell to get out of here. No. <laughs> He's like, Abigail, you stay. <laughs> no, Abigail still. She's not Dude, a damp here this... anymore. It's fine. No, you still get hit, though. You still get hit. Uh, it's not extra no. damage. Okay, I will say for Abigail, he begrudges like, come on, let's go, let's go. Come on. She's already moving. She, like, Oh yeah, she is. Yeah, no. So never mind. She, she's already moving. So yeah. Oh no. yeah. Did she's... you did you order your uh your undead to run with you? No. That is a good question. Are you just gonna leave them there to fight? Yeah. Okay. Abigail doesn't care as much for animals. <laughs> they're they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> what is she gonna do? Save them? They're already dead. Well, that's the whole I mean, point. It's undead okay, supremacy, no, right? Okay, no, I guess I guess I can I can have built an army. Yeah, they they can come with me. But if they get like, I'm not checking on them. <laughs> okay. If they die, they die. <laughs> They're already dead. Great. All right. Um. Can I just keep stacking? Like I'm gonna have like 600 undead things following me around everywhere. I mean, if you're, you'd have to be constantly recasting to maintain control over them. But no, you could, it's once a day. I could do it once every morning, and well, recast over everyone. Well, it only holds up to like I think eight per cast, right? Um, you're right, but so, so it's not have eight to, per like, cast. It's more than do... eight, but I'd have to get the. The yeah, ones. Right, so like you'd have to do this and then wait six hours and then do that to the next section and then wait six no, hours. No, 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 I do it at the same time every day. Oh, I only that's get right, because you can cast it multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. Just use up all your spell slots on that one every day. No, no, just a, a reasonable yeah. amount of spell slots. <laughs> We can have an army. You could. Yeah, you could legit just, build an just... army with this. Yes, you could. That's why I like playing necromancers. You can, you're like, I'm a whale squishy wizard. Oh no, he's coming after me. Can Face I give him, him my undead forces. And then, you know, they're screwed. Can we I give them raid. weapons? Hello, welcome. Hello, raiders. Welcome, ah. raiders. Raid. Hello, raiders. I'm building an army. Fair enough. Yeah, it's good to be oh, back. Raiders. It has been a long and weird break. Um, it's always weird to come back after a long break. Um, but we're back, and we're happy to be back. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. Yeah, winding down is good. I hope you guys had a good uh, good game tonight. Uh, good stream. Uh, so the party has been fighting a, um, a troop of Balguras, um, except for one, Sir Wellington. He burrowed under the ground and as he does, of, yeah, as he does, and kind of uh, uh, inadvertently attracted the attention of a uh, large boulette that came up, rolled a nat one on perception. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't me. Okay, to be fair, the borrowed girl that was digging after you and chasing you did kind of just the general thud thudding on the on the surface. Yeah, kind of drew its attention. Let's be honest. If it wasn't that far down, all this commotion above it probably would have attracted it anyways, knowing you. It's possible. Um, it would have had to roll a higher perception check. Had, I'm surprised there wasn't a bullet. I'm surprised there wasn't a bullet crossed with a scorpion, crossed with a crocodile or something. Right? Right? I mean, who knows? Maybe this portion of the Underdark actually Don't isn't know. affected by the uh, by the, the curse of the, of the surface. Yeah, uh, bye. I know you, Wolf. and I know you almost made that thing part dragon. Full scorpidile. I will never. Scorpidile. Dragulet. Great. A, First dra a dra and now Oh no! A dragon, a dragon with the armor plating of a boulette. Oh no! And the, the dragon. burrowing abilities. We're fucked. Yeah. A dragon. <laughs> right. So he, um, yeah, so he didn't technically wait, but it's, it doesn't matter. Sir Wellington could claim that he saved the party. Even if he wants to claim responsibility for waking the boulette, he gets to say he saved the party because you guys were dealing with a baker's dozen of bar angry Balguras, and now those things are being eaten by Ooh, the boulette. Okay. I could have done it. Okay. Were they? I'm I'm saying saying I killed three of them in like 20 seconds, so. I could have done it. <laughs> Okay, I but could died. you do without you're, you're, losing you're, all of your NPCs? Marcus NPC actually supports? got a good kill count this time. We are, we would have lost great. a lot of the NPCs. That's true. Here's, I'm not saying that 
Sir Wellington doesn't believe, like, Sir Wellington most certainly believes that he's probably the person that caused it by accident. I'm saying me as a player, I, I don't know, think yeah. that was the no, cause. No, it wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault. Um, he just made it a little bit easier for it to hear the commotion up top. Um, it's like, I hear something. Now I really hear something. <laughs> Investigate! It's like when you have your alarm going off and you know you hear it and you're just like, whatever. And then someone picks up the alarm and sets it on your chest and you're like, okay, <laughs> fine, I'm up. <laughs> I, I did, okay. I, I, just I me? Did. My wife does that just to me? No one else, no one else <laughs> has that happen to them? My, Amanda just No one else has their me. alarm get sh chucked at them from across the room? No, uh, Amanda no, just shakes No, I sleep by myself with my dog. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> My dog prefers me sleeping. Fair enough. Well, you should get a wife who chucks your alarm at you. I'm um, trying. The the downside, of course, being that it, it has nutted me first thing in the morning before because her <laughs> aim was off and she was tired. So that's a very fun Phrasing. Oh, phrasing. Nutted oh. me, nutted me, me does not mean you got hit in the nuts. No. That's not what nutted no, me means. No, that's not. No, Marco, Marco, hold on. I'll explain in the, I'll explain in the Discord. I blame Will Campos. Will Campos <laughs> and... Um, no, you, you, you do you not get to blame anyone. Will Campos Oh, yes, I do. Yes, Marco, I do. He uses phrasing, it all the time phrasing. in that context. No. No, well, not him. Wong too. It's Freddie Wong. Freddie Wong is the one. He always uses it. Whenever Glenn uses his nunchucks, he says Glenn nuts himself. <laughs> no. Still incorrect. Yeah, that doesn't make it any different. Like, they're still, like, well. phrasing. <laughs> phrasing. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's funny, because he says, oh, I know. I was like, that's the, okay. Well, that's part of the I joke, I didn't too. know that, so context now he's saying is. your wife <laughs> nutted you, and I'm like, Markham. I thought she was. You said your wife Markham. nutted you, and I was like, oh, so you're the one who's pregnant. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes, Markham, I'm the one who's I was raised Mormon. <laughs> How am I dirtier than you? And I was raised fucking Mormon. Because I was raised, raised independent Mormon. fundamental Baptist, <laughs> which I guarantee you looks at Mormons as kind of like too <laughs> way Anywho. out there. <laughs> Anywho. Sprint, Anyhow. Sprinting away. <laughs> yes. No, we're all sprinting running. away. I need stealth checks from everyone. This is not that you are actively stealthy, but I am curious. I have disadvantage on stealth. I assist. Kieran right. in his stealth. Cool, because that because means I get I'm right. I just him. want to know if you guys attract the attention of the boulette, and yeah. it's like, hey, uh, another all right. twenty. Well, not no, uh, no, it's not a twenty. It's a nineteen for a total uh, of twenty-four. Uh, that's a seventeen for me. Sixteen. I don't what like what minute. Callie's thinking. They're doing. Well, so you, got, I'm just so curious. Okay. I'm gonna roll to see just what I would have gotten with this. Oh, with disadvantage, I would have gotten a nat one. So thanks, Wellington. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of nat ones. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Well. Okay. All right. As you guys go sprinting down, I'm a candle. I can only Remember, stealth. Dawn so is behind us. Is like is behind us. away. The bottle girls are running down as well. It looks. It sees this candle running down, and it goes, "Ooh, this double candle!" It's a what's happened. that? What's that meal that's presented to you while it's still on fire? Um, flambe. Yeah, a um, flambe. <laughs> yeah, it's like, "Ooh, yes!" Okay, <laughs> my inner friend, uh, she's coming out, and it. <laughs> okay, this won't do much, but I need a con save from it then, because it's running directly into the uh, dawn. So. Well, that's a natural nineteen. Let me see what its modifier is. Well, that passes. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a 24. Oh, what the? F uh, oh, 24 total. I thought 24 yeah. modifier. I'm like, dude. What the no. Fuck? Good gosh. It's not a deity. <laughs> I was about to say, like, Markham, is this a bullet deity? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. The god of the bullets. It only takes 10 damage. Because <laughs> I got to It's 10. No, no. It takes Although, 10 stride. Yeah. Although, any other... Hell apes that follow us, they're gonna get fucked, hopefully. Oh no, yeah, the ooh, I should roll for the Bottle Girls. Alright. Uh anything right. over a seventeen. Then only two succeed. Alright. Uh let me roll damage for them. 
Oh. Holy shit. Okay, another 20. So doubled. So that's 40. 40. <laughs> so, like, most of the ball girls that run through there just turn to ash. And it's basically their options are to be the eaten. <laughs> their options are to be eaten or to turn to ash. And they're like, I'll take the ash. <laughs> Oh, I'm proud of Marcus. He's getting a good kill count. Yeah, that was this. impressive. Um, <clears throat> which also I ashy. should. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. Okay. Um. So you guys are running. You got some wounded with you. Some of the the wounded individuals or unconscious are being carried or you know limping along with. With some of the other NPCs who are kind of pulling them along with you, the other survivors. Um, uh, I need a perception check from all of you. Okay. All right, that is a nine. <laughs> oh no. Eighteen. Perception 24. check. Yep. Four. Four. <laughs> oh no. Oh, sorry. No, three. Oh. oh, no. 22. I have right. a plus one to my perception. I rolled a two. So, so, what did Callie get again? 18. 18. Okay, so Callie, Marcus, Abigail, all are like, oh, no, we're the new targets. Um, the boulette I'm is... I'm especially a target. Oh, yeah. This is uh, my sick-ass now. Yeah, you, you, you look and you're like, it's coming for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. See, no, wait, Windwall is a ranger spell shit yeah wrong character um Damn it. you guys do also notice there are several caves that branch off along the sides of the canyon um as well as a uh kind of a narrow ravine that you could potentially drop into you do also notice that the ravine is filled with bones though of course it is so we got ravines and caves. Yeah, so you got the wide open space, which you and the Barl Girl are currently... It's currently the hunting grounds of the... Okay, any of you guys see the Star Wars episode with the Great Dragon? Yes. Okay, yes. where it's like the open plains and it just comes up. That's basically what this is. It's a land shark. Um, so what it does is it, it, it dives down and it takes out... A, well, it eats another ball girl as it goes under, and you just see the, the, the ground begin to kind of bubble as it's just... And that line is beelining itself straight for Callie. Um, so you three notice that. Abigail, Marcus, Callie, you notice that. Sir Wellington, Kieran, you're sprinting <laughs> several hundred, a hundred feet or so ahead of everyone else. Everything's fine. <laughs> um, We're just like, so did you... Did, I mean, did you see that I like... I I I bamf like six of those bulgaras. Uh, I did I did laugh here. I saw you make them disappear. Did you see me cut their yeah. heads in half? That was pretty cool. You're hanging off of that one thing's mouth though. That looked pretty scary. I mean, it's like it's like those like things where you go where like the people go to the bars and they like they ride the they ride the like oh right right mechanical like, minotaurs got it yeah yeah I was like that I was like. Oh, let's see how long I can stay on for. And then that's what we're doing as we're running away. That's right why for, we're we're right. fully in conversation. There's a reason we did it. Even the fist bump is a little fist bump. For... Marcus turns back and sees the full life on and goes, Shit! 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 All right, get moving! Get moving! Shit! 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 shit. Why are you so slow? Because there's a fucking bull out of behind us! Why is Callie behind when I'm pretty sure Callie has the highest speed? No, yeah, Cal Callie's... Callie is nope. not behind. Callie is ahead. Kieran has the highest speed no. right you now. You guys no. are Callie. all in between this thing and its prey. My, uh... <laughs> it's, my, no, I'm my, saying the bullet is behind my movement, us. Callie, my movement speed is 60 right now and I dash. Because <laughs> I'm giant. Oh, your movement speed is 60 when you dash? No. No. That's it's normal. It's dash. 60 when I'm, when I'm giant. It goes to 120 when I dash. Oh, okay. But only when say, I'm, that's cute. But Whenever only when I dash, I'm, my movement speed is 90. But only when I'm giant. Normally How long my does that speed, giant last? Uh, one minute, so 10 rounds of combat. <laughs> so not too much longer. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Can we cast a spell while moving? 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Is there any details in the caves? Like, can he Give see Give me a anything? perception check. All right. Not bad. Uh, that is 25. All right. Because he's either caves or jump in the ravine with bones. I fucking hate this island. Uh, oh, right. I have floating discs. All right, what'd you say it was a 26? Yeah. Oh, 26. Okay, so... Uh, they just seem to be kind of abandoned caves. Um, so there's no bones or anything in or around them. It's just... It, they seem to go in a ways. It just gets dark in there. Um, but there doesn't seem to be any. There's no, like, webs. There's no bones. None of the sort. Uh, will he have enough time to, like, cast light and just talk, just yeet it to see if there's... <laughs> sure. Skull, which cave, which cave are you <laughs> are you picking? There are... There appear to be... Um, uh, there appear to be four. Hold on. I will actually roll a d4 and see which one I get. Uh, that would be the fourth cave, my good sir. The fourth cave. Okay, then. Yes. Um, all right. Uh, as you so shoot it down, it just seems to kind of, like, curve down and just just goes... It seems to go kind of, like, down and curve. Um, there does not appear to be any signs of life in there. Or, or unlife, I should say. Uh, there's no bones, no... Webbing, no sticky, uh, ooey gooey anything of any sort. Would it be a secure place to hide from the bullet? It it does appear pretty secure from from where you're at. Yeah. Uh, it right. just as it goes, it looks like it takes a sharp turn or something and goes off into into darkness. But there's no sign of anything in there, and it's okay, too so small for the bullet to get in. Yes. Okay. As he, so as he does this, he goes, uh, guys, guys, the cave right there. There ain't nothing, and it's too small for the guy. Come on. We got to go into that one, because holy shit, that ravine has bones, and I do not want to go down there. Oh, cool. Bones. Let <laughs> me go get bones. Abigail, Abigail goes I can get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like Abigail, 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 Abigail does a Pocahontas it. dive into the ravine. <laughs> She it's fucking like, would. Abigail comes back it. with an army. I'm kidding. Uh, like, she she is gonna keep running, but if she can, I'll try and cast something at it. All right. At the bullet. Can bullet. it roll a whiz safe? A whiz safe. Can it fail it, please? <laughs> On the bullet. It would be yeah. Don't do good. Fail bullet. I blew it. He's not I sure. Did the bullet blew it? It is a 13. Oh, that does not pass. All right. It's charmed with crown of madness. So it's, it's I can command it to attack another creature other than itself. Um, Does it attack while I No. <laughs> I'll I'll command it to attack one of the Bulgaros. Okay. And it's for one minute. Perfect. Okay. But it can first you turn. But it can re-roll the at save. the end of each turn. Each of its turns. Okay. So for now, I'm gonna divert its attention back so, to another Bulgaro. So it the 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 bubbles are like nearing like it it zooms past marcus and and abigail and kind of like throws a couple of you off balance a little bit and it is beelining it right to callie and callie kind of looks back and it's like uh, it's you can see it approaching it's like the shark fin in any aquatic based movie it's just it's coming fast and you know it's about to spring out of the water and get you and then it suddenly just veers away and then you see uh in the distance behind you one of the ball girl which is kind of slowing down and kind of like boom, boom, and starting to thump again as it's looking hungrily at at you survivors limping away it just all of a sudden boom, out of the earth and just eats it and goes back under <laughs> all right cool so, cave, guys? Yeah, I got this one. We can go in the cave. It's good hey. for like a minute. Yeah. 
Here, Termonton, there's a cave. Look safe. Let's go uh, in the cave. Hey. Turn around. And Marcus is gonna lead is gonna again funnel all the people like get, come on, get in the cave. Now, now, now. She's gonna go, but she's gonna like spend the minute like kind of laughing at it, getting the Bulgaras progressively away from the cave. Hopefully, if that's possible. If Get you... the ones closest first and then target Try... the ones okay. furthest away. Yeah. The ball girl are chasing after you towards the cave. Yeah. Um... And now they are being eaten. Can I get a nature check from you guys? Ooh, okay. Uh, Wait, does Marcus even have nature? I get so confused. 20. Hey! Nope, that is a seven. That is a seven. Fifteen. Seven. Same. Minus one. Fifteen also. All right, so did anyone else get uh twenty? Sir Wellington above? hasn't rolled. Nature check. This is for nature. Okay. I know Marcus is too distracted by right now. Fair enough. And he doesn't really know nature. He he said a religion, not nature. Uh dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. All right. Um, Sir Wellington, you're familiar with the way monkey-like creatures work in the Feywild. Callie, you're familiar with the way monkeys work in Galead, uh, specifically the Galead Archipelago. Archipelago. Um, there you go. Uh, where they'll, you know, they'll call out and they'll kind of like a, ooh, 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 and it's to attract allies. And you see some of the Balogura begin to do that. Which means they are probably calling for reinforcements. They're getting friends. They're multiplying. They're multiplying. They're multiplying. They're getting reinforcements. We gotta go now. Alright, cave, cave, right now. Everyone to the cave. To the cave we go. To the cave. To the cave. Alright. Um you guys make your way into uh the cave. Um, and you're just kind of like hiding right in the entrance. I mean, we kind of go a little bit further. A little bit further. I, mean, I, I would have them go like maybe not necessarily to the corner, but like a little further in, just in case like it tries to do like the whole thing where, like, you know, in the monster movie, where, like they hide in like a good yeah. In like Jurassic like, Park, where they're not in far enough, and the T Rex comes in and grabs one, and pulls them out. That yeah. he's trying to avoid that. That's fair. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, you guys make it in, and um, I need. Oh, as you guys are running, uh, running away from the uh, the Barlgura, can everyone make an intelligence saving throw for me? Yes. Ooh, yes, eighteen, eighteen, seventeen, eighteen. Mother, did you not one again? I did it in that one. I, got, I rolled oh, no. a seventeen, so twenty-seven. I did get a seven. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Naz? I'm sorry. What are we rolling? Intelligence, Intelligence saving, saving throw. throw. Oh. You're a wizard. Okay. This should not be a dump stat It'd for be you. It's fine. <laughs> it's not a dump stat. I have a plus 11. There we go. <laughs> oh, shit. More like that a dump one. Oh, shit. Stat. That one. Did you that one? <laughs> no. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look. Oh shit. How do you have a oh, plus a, how do you have a plus eleven? Okay, well I'm smart. I have a item. Gotcha. Sir Wellington. True. You alone. That's why I'm wearing pink. Sorry, go ahead. As everyone as everyone rushes to safety. Um Wait, eighteen doesn't make it? No. DC twenty. Oh, shit. Holy shit, what? I literally only had to roll a 10 uh-huh. or above, or 9, nine or, above. or above. Yes. Your your goal, the bar was so low. <laughs> I know. 
and you still did holy shit. Oh, I know. No, 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 holy shit. How? Okay. I net one. I thought you said you didn't net one. Well, I did. Like a liar. <laughs> I was lying. Liar. <laughs> anyway, anyway uh, what the fuck? What, all right, the, what stand happens? Up, turn around. I bet you your pants are on fire. <laughs> What happens? What happens? Okay, so everyone uh, runs to safety. Sir Wellington, you... Oh, wait a minute. I'm just going to DM this to you. No, it's what scary. Why did, you know, no, no secrets here. I don't like that. Me neither. Mm -hmm. In fact, Ian's poker face is just immaculate. It is. Yeah, Ian's a really good poker player. <laughs> oh no, I just let's look at what you wrote. Okay. I hate it. Stop it. Make an expression. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Perfect. I know exactly what we're dealing with. <laughs> Batman. I like how your expression immediately. How goes did you know? <laughs> to old anime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, just, mm, oh. All right. I just watch me rockly crater this thing. Right. I will. Just drop I, weights and. That would be badass, but. Disappears. Anyway. Uh, still, I, I honestly. That's still one of my favorite moments in like anime. No, like, I this, agree with this, you. It's one of the most badass sequences where it's just like you just see him go. They're all like, ah, "What you gonna do? Just take what's taking the weights off?" And he just drops him, and it craters, and he just disappears. And you're like, oh. like he instant transmissions with just how fast he's moving. Yeah, Rock, and that's why Rock Lee will forever be my favorite Naruto character. Anyway, sorry. All good. So, um, I'll turn it over to you guys for a moment. As everyone, like, you know, the wounded are rushed in. You can hear the ball girl calling for aid as they're one by one consumed. And they start branching off and retreating from the cave um, as they are trying to escape being consumed. Uh, you guys head a bit further back into the cave, though not all the way to the corner. Um, yeah, safe distance, but, like, Still, yeah, yeah, so I'll turn it over to you guys um, for a moment, and then we wrap up. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, shit. shit. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm oh. just... You, 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 look over, if you, you look over and you go see Sir Wellington hunch up. He goes, no, 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 no. Oi, no, no. you're right, lad. I don't, uh, I, don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Well, okay. what's going on? Uh, what's going on, lad? What's don't wrong? Know how to explain it? There's not. There's something not good here. There's something not good. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What's up? What do you mean what something not there? good? You, okay, you the, you like you know, line. you know, you know how like you see cats and their hair stand on end. Like I'm getting that right now. This is not fun. Well, I mean, we did kind of just escape that. No, I like didn't have it. Ever. I didn't have it from them. Something in here. There's something in this cave. He, Marcus is now like looking around, like he has the. He does the thing where it's like the light, and he's like, uh, I, 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 I don't see any. What, it is still it like, baffles me why you why you keep casting light on things. I'm literally a candle. Uh, just let me do it. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm still confused. He he activates like the like de 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 like the boop, 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 like the blinking light functions like that's why. <laughs> just small little candle, just. Uh, okay, well, sir. We, we shouldn't what be say? here. We shouldn't. We should not be here. I don't well, know. I don't know what's going on, but we should not. This is not a good place. Well, if we go back out there, then we have a bullet and monkeys 
with more monkeys I, coming, apparently, right, Callie? With more, more monkeys, monkeys coming. coming. Uh, um, out of curiosity, how like how many people are we? Do we got here? Well, you currently. Oh, have... Alberion's with us. Yeah. Alberion's with us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Alberion's so... with you. Dolores is with you. Um, Early on is with you. Okay. There are two so... demon slayers and then seven other survivors of the initial <laughs> uh, shipwreck um, that have kind of semi-joined the Demon Slayer core like Kieran did, and uh, they are here to assist, although currently they're... I know. Okay. Um, I um, hate going back to real life. Uh, and they are currently... There are currently two that may be dead, um, another two that are unconscious, and then one that is pretty badly wounded in his leg. So a okay. total of five injured. Cool. No, so there are five injured, but then how many of us in total are there? I think about 14. Okay. Okay. Sir, Sir what the... What, what's... So there's, there's three of us, uh, there's, there's at least three of us that can do this, most likely. Uh, I know... I know for a fact that uh, Alberian should be able to cast Lehman's Tiny Hut. Abigail. Abigail, can you cast Lehman's Tiny Hut? No. What kind of wizard are you? <laughs> Screw you, man. Um, oh, okay. Del Dolores, are you, are, you, are, you, are you good with that? Can you do it? Um, I can check my spell book. It'll, it'll take me some time to prepare it. But why did she go English all of a sudden? That's not right. That's not Dolores. The fuck is it? Okay. Okay. There's a changeling in your midst. <laughs> Naz's okay. reaction okay. was so immediate. And like, not my girlfriend. Not my girlfriend. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. She doesn't okay. know her um, girl. How many people can I... F it says a 10-foot radius, but how many people can I fit in? In this, ten foot does twenty bubble. foot, so you could probably fit in half the party. I'm not giant. Okay, anymore. okay, cool. Um, <laughs> then I'm going. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll bear it. You, me, we do it right now. Um, we need to cast the image tiny hut and protect. Uh, Just regroup, let people recharge, and then maybe the bullet will take care of things out there. I don't want to go any further into this place. There's something not good. And he's just going to start, like, uh, I don't know if you've seen uh, my neighbor Totoro. But he's going to yes. start, like, yeah. he's going to start walking around, like, a little group of people doing, yeah. like, that. <laughs> yes. Yes. As he's casting, yes. as he's casting Lehman's tiny hut. Right. Like, he's uh, making his little loop around people. Albaron will begin doing the same. One of the demon, sl the, the demon slayer that's still up will go, I mean... Right next door, there there are three other caves. Couldn't we just dip into one of those? No, 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 no. It's not good. It's not good. There's something not good in here. Well, right. Well, there are got... three other caves out outside. We got a we, we got a bullet and angry demon we got outside. Things, yeah, we got things out there. If we do this, just let me focus. It would take one minute. Shut up. <clears throat> and he just for the next minute, just does Mark's that just and just. Right. Let Imagine up. how he has Alberian does it, it is to be told to shut up by a raccoon, right? With and a then he's horse. like, <laughs> and then he go comes in and it just, just like the little encompasses it too. And he's mm. like, okay, we're good now. Uh, Look, there were people out there. Can we? Can we like? Out of curiosity, because we're two people, we're, and Alberian's like high enough level. Can we make it so it's like? The the the, we can, the bubbles we can merge are like them, yes. The, create like two little like things so you can walk between them. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Cool. I think that's cool. cute. <clears throat> hey, look, there, there's the things out there that are not good. Mm. There's something in here that's really not good. So this is the best place for us to be. We can be in here for the next eight hours. It's okay. Uh, Just rest up. What, and what's in here? I don't know, but I when I get a feeling that like my hair just stands on end, it's not good. Especially when um when you know I didn't get that when I saw the bullet underground 
and I never got that when I, I, I saw some of the other things, and this is the first place I've gotten that. And that's not, that's really, that's not a good sign for where we are. Uh, why is this ask, going? Are we talking about Archdevil level kind of thing? Because I've banished one, but that, that was a lot. That was luck. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Uh, Why do you I'll think eight that... hours is going to le is going to make a difference? Well, well, eight hours. Hopefully, the bullet takes care of the things out there, and we can just go outside. That's Very that's bad. what the eight hour. That's what the eight hours is for. Uh, and if not, you guys have enough time to rest up. That hopefully, if the bullet takes care of the bulgurus, then we can at least take on the bullet, and we'll be fine. Uh, Hurrah! So I'm not familiar with this spell. Yes. Can it protect us from? And this is Marcus talking because he doesn't know this right. spell as much. Mm -hmm. Can it protect us from whatever you are thinking is in here? Um, Feeling is in here more accurately. All other creatures, objects are barred from passing through it. Spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. Yeah, I, I, it, this is, is, it is. For eight hours, we are fully protected. Yeah. Nothing you know, can get is, through. You know, this is Marcus, like in game. This is Marcus asking. Oh, Mr. Wellington, the, the spell. Oh. yeah, y yeah, yes. The, uh, for the next eight hours, uh, nothing can get in. If I were to try to cast fireball out, uh, like be like boom, fireball to someone out there, it would blow up in here instead, and that would not be good. So nothing can go out, or nothing can come in. All right, that that's good. So there. no people, no objects, no spells, or anything like that can do it. So we're we're good. We're good in here. All right. I'm I'm just gonna and he just kind of sits down and it's kind of like when you haven't run a while and you have to right. run. <laughs> yeah. And he he he's tired. Of the, oh, all right. Oh, there's a reason I was not. Uh, there's a reason I wasn't a guard. Whew. Oh. My my foot my foot is howling. So, oh, so as you guys are able to rest, everyone gets a long rest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The long the rest. boulette does seem to consume the remaining Baralguras, and everything seems to be cleared uh, after eight hours has gone by. Um, it is kind of dusk outside at this point. Um, but if y'all wish to venture out, you now may, and that is where. Um, can we air and? Yes, that is where we will... Well, actually, I should probably end it with this. As you guys go to leave, you walk into an invisible wall. Well, that's that ain't supposed to be there. Shit. Hold that, Wait, give it a second. Enough. The world's loading. Hold on, give it a second. <laughs> <laughs> and, Sir Wellington, you immediately know this is what you felt going through. You, It was like you were walking through a one-way portal. Okay, well, I, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to go out. I think we have to go in. Um, This sucks. So, um, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> this farewell. is where we'll be I'll leaving it off. All I do. Um, uh, with with uh, someone walking face first into an invisible wall, because that's a hilarious note to leave on. Um, Massive dog pile of people walking into each other. Uh, thank you all Mark. for joining us. Yeah. Uh, Pink Flamingo, your character sounds hysterically fantastic. Uh, pie shops that say serve burnt pies is <laughs> that's a great that's a great friend. Um, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you to the Raiders for joining us. Um, and thank you to the players for for getting back together. Um, we're in the last like two or three months of our campaign, so this is crazy. We're who. Um, which is good because Ian's got a schedule change coming up. So we, we have to conclude before then. Um, anyhow, uh, we'll do quick outros. Um, actually I can do it for everyone since it's getting late. Um, Naz outros. What? Yes. Naz outros. Naz outros. Everyone gets a Naz All right. Outros. Ready? Everyone go. Naz outros. Naz, you go first to show us how it's done. Naz, play Abigail. Matt. All right. Matt, play... I play Marcus, Ian. I'm Ian, and I play Sir Wellington. Paul, I play Kieran. <laughs> Silky, play Callie. 
I think Cole did the best Naz interpretation. Matt writes from the start. You use too many words. <laughs> There's no I am and I play. It's just Matt, yeah. Marcus. No, I'm I did say play Abigail. Yeah, but you only said play Abigail. I did. <laughs> well, I did. I'm being me. I ain't being that. <laughs> being me. All right. Uh, I'm Markham. I am the Dungeon Lord. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, next week, we'll be delving into a uh, bit more horrifying aspect of this horror campaign. Just another little reminder, this is a horror campaign. I know it turned into a comedy, but it's okay. Um, this horror is comedy happens comedy. when you have a raccoon corn. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, so this is Mr. You, Markham. I mean, you uh, it, so. Signing off, <laughs> everyone. Stay, sa <laughs> stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, stay lost, everybody. Uh, how do you sign? Goodbye, friends. Bye. Goodbye, friends. Bye now. Just Bye. until just Bye until now. next week. Bye.